Hi everyone, it's Lucy here. Um, welcome to my home. I hope you're all keeping well and that um, that life is going well for you. It's such a beautiful day out there today. So if you're not here watching me, I hope you're out there enjoying it. Um, this is going to be available um, to watch forever. So if you um, miss something or if I don't explain it and you need to go back over it, then it will be just there on my Facebook page. So Lucy's Kazaz at Bateau Bay. So um, <clears throat> what today's about is basically talking about the new products. So the new July products which have come out. Um, so I'll just go through those. I'll give you a quick walk through the flyer and then, um, then I'll demonstrate a couple of cards and you can then play along later. Okay, so if you've got any questions too, Brendan's um, in the background here as well. He's um, spared me an hour. So if you've got any questions, just post them in the comments and um, he'll come and let me know that there's a question and I'll try and answer it as best as I possibly can. Okay, here we go. So as you can see from the, from the flyer, it's a bit Aussie, it's a bit Christmassy, but the wonderful thing about these stamps is that a lot of them you can use, um, they're quite versatile. So you don't have to use them just for Christmas. Um, the papers are beautiful. I really love the papers. So I'll give you a bit of a close up of them. So you've got your, um, your one to 25. You can see that. And then the back is this beautiful dark blue starry sky. Then you've got the lovely pink, which again are, are quite versatile. You don't just need to use them for Christmas. And then the lovely Aussie wreath, garland, whatever you want to call it. And then the floral, native floral. And then the green watercolour on the back. So they're quite beautiful. They're really lovely to work with. Um, this is one of the little projects. So as you can see from the front, oops, one of the um, one of the cards, and they're unusual folds as well. So you've got your Z fold here. And then you've got your little easel card as well. So I'm running these workshops from home. So if you're interested or if you've got a couple of friends that would like to do um, any of those workshops, then please let me know. There's also a matching um, layout to that workshop as well. So then we've got our lovely stamps. All the different stamps. The, the wombat koala, emu, then the little hats, the bottle brush. The bottle brush is quite lovely to use as well. And then the wreath. Lots of new sentiments as well. I particularly love this one. Like I always love something to put in the middle of a card. So from our family to yours, I think is a really good one to pop on the inside of a card. Then you've got your Aussie Christmas Santa up the top there, which is very cute. With the, with the kangaroos leading the way. Then Australia, map of Australia. More stamps. And then we've got our new dies. So there's three new dies. I'll just show you them. So these are the three new dies. So there's the Merry Christmas. There's the Hello with the little houses. And then there's the with love. So I'll show you, I'll give you a demo on those a bit later. <clears throat> We've also got the new dilution paints. So the pots of paints are still available, but um, Ranger have decided to do away with the pots. I think they were drying up a bit quickly. So, and then they're now bringing them out in bottle form. So there's just a little flip top lid which as you can see, I haven't opened this one as yet. 
and there's a couple of new colors so two new colors so you've got your flip top lid so you can pop your paint in you can still pop a little bit on your mat and use a blending tool with it so it's however you like to use them so the same same paint just in different pots you can um, still order the pots but they um, will be discontinued when the new catalog comes out and these will be the dilution paints that will be um, will be used from now on the other interesting thing is we've got the new embossing dabber so rather than the embossing pad, you've now got the dabber. So it's got the um, the dabber top on it. So when you're using chipboard, you can just dab it on rather than using an ink pad. So it's just a different way of using it. If you were wanting to do, like if you're art journaling and you wanted a corner um, embossed on your journaling page, you could just swipe this on and then put your embossing powder on. So it's probably to give a bit more of a rustic finish. So that's one of the new products. Also, there's the new lovely mint chip um, mixed media embossing powder. So there, that's lovely to use as well. I haven't got a sample of that here. And then the other thing, the other new product are the, um, the glitter gels. So these are quite having a little bit of a play with them today just to show you the, the three different ones so I don't know if you can see them or you probably can't see them very clearly but you've got this one here has got little gold stars in it this one here is more silver and it's got the little silver round bits and then this one is sort of like a, a black and pink um, fine grain with little pink bits and silver bits in it so it, it's sort of quite I'll try and get some light on them so you can see them they're quite quite lovely so again that's just painted on it's just a gel I'll see if you can show you the consistency of it so it's quite quite thick it's not runny at all so I've been um, you could just use it with your finger and wipe on I've been using a paintbrush to a, to apply it now lots of new chipboard pieces so you've got your little tree here which I've made up so two of these trees come in the packet um, so they're $14.95 for two trees so to make up two of these is $14.95. Now, if you only want one, then I'm very happy just to um, cut it in half so that you can just get the one tree. But this is a little workshop, this particular tree, or you can just decorate it how you want to decorate it. The other new chipboard is the Chipboard Santa, um, the sleigh, Santa's sleigh. So I'll just show you this workshop here. This is a workshop designed by Kerry Collins. So you can see here is the chipboard Santa. So that's got um, the mixed media powder on it. Flurries it's called, that one. So it's quite, quite nice, you can see. And then also it comes with the little Merry Christmas. So in the packet comes a little Merry Christmas. So there's the Merry Christmas there, also embossed with the flurries. So that's there. So you can see it comes with two sets. So you've got two Santa sleighs and two Merry Christmas in that in that set of chipboard. The other thing, the advent calendar, I'll quickly show you that. I haven't I haven't made it up, but it's quite cool. So it comes comes with a set of instructions, thank heavens you say. So it comes with a set of instructions. I'll just move that again. Oops. So it does come with a set of instructions. So that's what it looks like. That's the lid. So you've got to make up the lid 
and then these are pulled open so they're attached slightly so for each day you just pull it open so you make up the little box and then you've got your top that fits over so that becomes a lid and you these are all your little sections that go in and across so once you've finished, you can then just use it as a little, um, well, you could re reboot it and use it again for next year, or you can use it as a little embellishments box. So whatever you feel like. The other um, cool thing about it is that your numbers from your new papers fit directly over the top. So if you were wanting to make it up, you could actually just cut your numbers out and put that over the top of each number. If you wanted to just paint it and decorate it with the, with the numbers, that's possible as well. Or you can push your numbers out, put the paper over the top and then put the number over the top of each of these numbers so that it's nice and raised. So you could paint those, put some glossy accent over them to make them nice and glossy. Then the other chipboard uh, is your little brag book. So it comes like this with your two little rings to put it together. And then this is one of the workshops. So I'll just show you here. This is the little workshop that I've um, made up. So it's got all the little embellishments. Now I haven't put photos in, but so you could make this up for someone and put all your little embellishments aside like in a little bit and in a little bag so you've just say you just paint it put the um you know decorate it as you want to and then put all the little embellishments in a little bag so that whoever you're gifting this to has the embellishments then um to make up for for themselves once they've got their little um once they've got their photos together. So you can see here's a little open out. A little pockety thing. And then you've got your little envelope as well that you can store bits and pieces in. So I think it's just a really pretty workshop. And that's been coloured with our um, new oxide sprays. So, yeah, I love it. I just need to find the time to find the photos to put the photos in it. There. Then we've got our tissue box. So this is, I've made this up recently. So just decorated it papered and then um, texture pasted it and I'll show you oh, where did I put my tissues show that it does go over the box of tissues oh there you go oh there they are So there you go. Voila! So it fits perfectly. So I just thought that was a really cool thing to give away as a present. You get to have the pleasure of making something and it's something easy and most people are using. So that's $7.50 for the, for the kit. Then there's also the stencil stamp box. So, or card box. So it's quite a large box. So you can see here, this I haven't had time to decorate. So the box itself comes all separate, of course. And then you've got the lid. It fits nice and snugly. Okay. 
So it fits our chipboard in quite nicely. So you can see there. And it also comes with dividers. Also fits our stencils in. So it fits stencils in as well. So it's a great, great storage box. And then you've got the dividers that it comes with as well. So you, your A5 card would fit in there as well. Okay. So that's another useful product. And I will decorate that at some stage. So they're $29. 95 for the box and then you've got your card making kits as well so the card making kit which makes up 30 cards and you've got your scrapbooking um, kit layouts as well so that's it for that any questions Bren? Nope. nope okay so we'll move it along so what I was going to do is just demonstrate a technique that I've used that has been used on this set of cards this lovely embossing on the vellum so I don't know um, if you've embossed with vellum before but I find it's a really lovely technique especially for Christmas cards so all you do is and I know lots of us have vellum because we've got lots of it and we think well what am I going to do with that so here's one way that you can use it so I'm going to use the new Christmas background stamp. So you're just using the clear embossing ink. Just making sure that's well inked up. And again, when you're stamping, always have the stamp on the table and then take your, take your ink to your stamp. Now we're just going to line that up. Press down. Good press down. And then we're going to pick it up. Put it on some scrap paper and quickly pour the embossing powder all over it. Just miss the bottom bit. There we go. I think I've got most of that. Let's just put that aside. And then we'll heat that up. going to keep it in the one area until it starts turning and I'll just blow my flowers away. Friend, do you think you could turn the kitchen light on for me please? There it is. Starting of to course, turn. my darling. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> I'm burning my fingers off here. There we go, that's turned there. So I'll just turn that around. You can probably see it better now. So with embossing, what I find is if you just watch where it changes and then move the heat on. If you're doing this sort of thing, you're flapping it around and nothing kind of gets done. It's quite awkward because I've got the camera there where I would normally. Ouch! I 
and because it's thin, it's flapping around. Do it this way, Lisa Jones. A little bit that I've missed, usually on the edges. So you can see there, it's come up really lovely. So you could use that as a background for any Christmas card and then just put a Christmassy, maybe a Christmas decoration, stamp, you know, something stamped Christmassy. If that makes sense. So that's just that. So just to give you a bit of an idea for some Christmas cards in the making. So then this is another little one that I've made up using the Merry Christmas die. So all we're going to do is grab the Merry Christmas die and our trusty Gemini plates. We're just going to put the die down and we want it to be going just check where the Merry Christmas is. There it is there. So we just want it to go across. That one. A bit more. Put our plate stacked together. Oops, and it moved. Oh, I knew I should have put the washi tape on. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll just play with that. So again, it's moved as I've put it in, so I should have had the washi tape on it. But we can still do the same. I'll just show you the technique. So what I was going to do is have a go at putting some of the glitter on. So instead of, with this one, I've just cut it and then I've added some eye stickles. So I've just used the eye stickles and popped that in the stars. But what I thought I might do is use some of our new gel and just paint, paint it on and just see what happens. So I'm just going to paint this on in the area that has been die cut. So it's probably about that area. Yep. And then I'm just going to stick that down over the top. So it doesn't matter if it's wet when we put this down because it will just dry later and it'll actually help to adhere it to the to the piece of card so what I'm going to do now is grab a blending tool
which I've forgotten, of course. You know how you have everything and then the one thing you forget, like the washi tape. So you're going to just edge around. And we're going to stamp. Now I'm using archival ink, the red archival ink to stamp because I'm just going to watercolour We've got our little bottle brush with our decorations. And then on the same block, I'm going to add a little bit of green. And a little bit of red. And then just using the water brush, I'm just going to Paint in the leaves. And then just wipe that off on the paper, change colours, and then we can just add some red to the baubles. Okay, and just leave the rest white, I think. Just take the backing off. So you can see by my mistake that it's really important to put washi tape on to hold the dies in place. So you can see there, it has come through, but because the die cut is so small, you're not getting those circular pieces come, come through very much at all. So, for me, I'd probably just stick to using the eye stickles and putting it on afterwards. So then, of course, you're just going to put the backing on that and pop it on your, your base card. And what you can do is here, I've just added some more eye stickles to the little decorations here, the middle of the, the, um, the bauble here and onto the bottle brush as well. that little one and then I'll show you this one here and I'll just I will get the washi tape so I'm going to um, blend these first with the oxide inks. So I'm going to do one in blues and one in greens. So I'm going to do this one. That's out of the way. The red out of the way. So 
So I'm going to start with the Twisted Citron first. So again, these are Oxide inks. I find they blend really easily. So just start off the page and then just work your way on. And if you go lightly first, you then don't get those marks. And you can just keep adding more and more colour. Then we're going to go to the cracked pistachio. <laughs> there was no question, but there was a comment from Deborah. So yeah. Thanks for going all the trouble to show that showing what you're doing. Oh, no problems. Thanks, Deborah. My great pleasure. And then just blend it in so that you're getting a nice colour blend. I just go backwards and forwards until I'm happy with it, happy with the colour that I've got. There you go, so I'm pretty happy with that. Then we'll go to the blues. So I'm going to use the Salty Ocean and my favourite all-time colour, Mermaid Lagoon. Now, it does rival Wilted Violet. That's my other favourite colour. So then let's start off with the blue. And then Mermaid Lagoon. So you can see the two of them blend very nicely together and quite close. The Mermaid Lagoon has just got that touch of green in it, that more slightly more aqua. So again blending until you're happy with it. Now, some people like that smooth blend. Other people like a bit more, I don't know, a bit more something to it. Um, and of course, I don't have my spray bottle here. Yes, I do. So what you can do, I've just mixed up some, some water and some Perfect Pearls dust. And you can just add, um, so just spray it into your hand and then just give it a flick and you can see there it's starting to bleach out already so I could leave that to sit and dry or I can give it a bit of a helping hand with the heat tool Oops, that's what I'm going to do this is very awkward having this around this side of So just dry that off. And again, like I said, you don't have to add the water. But I think it just it works really well with the oxide inks. You get these nice bleached patterns going on. Now this was a card designed by, I'm pretty sure it was the lovely Helen Warner. Please don't quote me on that and I'm really sorry if I've got it wrong. So if you've designed this card and you're watching, I'm sorry if I've not got the right person. But it's such a lovely card that I wanted to, to show you. Such a great use of this new die. Okay, so now what we're going to do is use the With Love dye. 
And where have I put it in this strange nest that I've got here? Here it is. Okay, I know I had them a minute ago. The boards. There they are. There's one of them. So when I've done this before, I've done them both at the same time. So let's see if that's going to work this time. Yeah, I think I put it through once because I want them to line up so it might not cut fully but then I can easily run it through again so if it hasn't cut through both of them fully that's all right Just ease the washi tape off very slowly so it doesn't take any of the colour off. There we go. Now, how cool is that? I would love that to stay like that, but it doesn't. It picks off quite easily so if you wanted with a bit of glossy accent you could actually go and stick those all back on but yes it does come off so don't like I did thinking oh that that will just stay there it doesn't it all comes off so now because you can see that hasn't cut all the way through I'm just going to, but I've got it lined up nicely where I want it to be. So I'm just going to pop the die back over it and run it through once more. Remembering to flip your plates. And just remember the gel, just making sure if you're using a paintbrush with it, just um, make sure you wash your paintbrush brush off once you've finished using it. So we've got our two little pieces there. Then we'll just need our card. So I've got one here that I've already pre-folded, so I'm just going to give that a nice crisp run down. Now, I quite like this. How groovy is that? So that's going to get a bit of the purple tape on that. So the purple tape, if you haven't seen it before, is great for die cuts. 
because it just goes along the die cut and you don't get tape going everywhere. I thought that's quite a cute border in your card. So then we're just going to tape everything else down. Actually, I've done the wrong one first. I need to put the green one on first. I might stamp a little happy birthday on there as well. So I need to put that probably about there so I can get the happy birthday. Um, yeah. So I need to make sure the happy birthday is on there straight. So I'm just going to line it up. I don't know if you've used this method before, but I'm going to line it up with the grid and then make sure the happy birthday is nice and straight. That looks about straight to me. Happy birthday's on. I'm just going to lower that down a little bit and just make sure that that then fits yep, over the top. So we just bring that down a little bit. this on, making sure we can still see the happy birthday. And then the blue one over the top. Then we can put our little flowers on. So the other little card that um, I'm pretty sure it was Helen Warner's designed is this one here. So using your plastic sheet. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Then for the little flowers. So on this card here, I've just colored the flowers and popped a little rhinestone on, but we could use our little mixed media ones. So they're a bit different, so. I think I'm gonna redo them. So I've got my little flowers here. And I'm just gonna quickly show you how I colored them. So on a little craft mat, Just smudging down a little bit of the ink that you've used. So whatever ink you've, you use to do your um, to do your card, we'll just use the three. Won't worry about the four. And then we're just going to spray it with a little bit of the perfect pearls water, and probably just give the little flowers a quick spray 
as well. Then we just dip them in the water. Just cover them up. We want to. And because we've used these colours in the card, we know that they're going to match. There you go. So that's the three little flowers. And what I could do is just dry them off. It's blown away. It thinks it's dry enough. And then what we can do is put them back on and then I'm going to paint them with just one of the glitter glues. Again, you could use your finger. I find when you use your finger, though, you um, don't get as much of the little um, stars and other little embellishments on. So I find using the brush, you get... Um, actually, I'm going to use the silver one. You get more of the little cutouts in them. So I'm just going to paint that on. And then I'd probably pop a little rhinestone on in the middle as well. Just to really bling it up. Okay, so once you've got that on, just so that a skin doesn't form, just lift them up from where they are and just pop them somewhere else. Otherwise, you'll get that skin that you've painted onto the craft mat staying attached to your little flower. There you go. So just lift up and pick up again. So I'm just going to put those aside to dry. And then with a little bit of glossy accent, I put a dot of glossy accent in the centre of each and then one of the little rhinestones on. I know I had them here somewhere, but they've obviously gone and missing. So yeah, just um, a little rhinestone in the middle of each one and then just attaching them up the top above the wave. And that's that done. So I'll say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk through um, the new products. And I've got a little special offer to offer anyone that would like to buy any products, any Kazaz products from me, um, I'm happy to give you 10% of your total order to spend on more products or to have a 20% pick out of my gift basket. So just let me know if I can be of any service to you and you know where I am. So just post the questions if anything comes up and I'm very happy to answer your questions. So have a wonderful weekend and I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration today. Bye. Take care. Stay safe.